Pull that. Sup, motherfucker. Seeing how long this takes. 20 minutes. We're good. I'm just gonna ask what you do. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what, 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 what's the scenario? Back to Englewood. This is a few blocks hey, from your other house. Back to the crib we go. Back to the crib we go. Look at that shit. What are you doing? You gonna drive? Yeah. No. The fucking the ditch in the side of the road over there mm. is fucking deep. It's like yeah, it's no, like I've stepped in it with very easy. I know, but I'm saying your tire gets in it, and you're literally. It just gets in there. You didn't park it in there. You're just no. You do you park it in there. It's the like, only way to fucking. No. Whoa, what the fuck is going on in the park? Party. Oh, they got grass for Omar for hey, days. Oh, shit, he cancel it today. He what? What are they doing? Are they playing tag? It's like fucking 100 dog. people are there. Have you seen the tag movie? Were you the one yeah, who told I'm me about told that? Yeah, I told you about that too. Yeah. I've told you about everything in your life. <laughs> not everything. You just don't fucking remember? No, not everything. I didn't teach you how to shave. No. I didn't teach you how to roll a joint. No. I did not teach you how to read. Did he taught me how to roll? No, I don't do that to Jay. Yeah. Jay, fuck this violation, man. Jay will come out and he's gonna see that vlog. Did you know Jay's Did gonna he binge? Taught me how to roll you know he's gonna binge watch the entire fucking like every he's single. He's gonna get phone. to this. Point. He's gonna call you. Oh, yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck? I know you're not putting that. Up. I know, but that girl's wearing a Coors Light shirt. Maybe they're not high school girls. No, they're not. No, that one girl's got tattoos. All right, we're good. It says make it happen. That's it. Maybe on her shirt it says make it happen. What you want for me? That's what her shirt says. I know, it's amazing. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get to the fucking accountant. We got three minutes to spare. Oh God. Bring any U-turns or traffic. I'm not into the scooter revolution. Me neither. I mean, it would be fun if like, I mean, what would make the scooters fun? I mean, it, it's like, you know, it, it could be fun in a city like this if I were traveling and like on foot and, you know, just kind of Ubering places and wanted to jump on something to get somewhere quick. Why don't you quick. just call Uber? Bro, there's nothing cool about being on a fucking scooter. Maybe there's enjoy no the outdoors. Dog, I could be being chased by fucking zombies that were dipped in gasoline and then lit on fire, and I could be running, and there'd be a scooter lane right there, and I'd still rather go out running than fucking have my last moments be on an electric scooter that I had to slide my credit card into that's lime green. Oh, you have fucking... to slide a credit card in? Oh, you think it's free? You think it runs off your fucking mood? <laughs> like what, you're in a fucking good mood? You do the Care Bear stare, it just starts fucking No, growing. but like through your phone or oh, something. I don't, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could be, I don't want to, I don't want to get roasted by some fucking scooter aficionado in the fucking comments. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to assume you slide your credit card. I don't know. Maybe there is an app. I don't What's know. What's worse, having your girl go through your phone, finding out you're texting some chick, or you fucking got a scooter app download on your shit? Or she calls her girlfriend oh my god becky guess what i knew he was cheating no he's riding scooters the scooters around town i saw him eyeing he one said the he was day. supposed to be at work i'm gonna go catch him Dude, right the now. other day when he was i went to la fiesta for lunch i was like oh nice i didn't even think he scootered there he called me and told me about where he went and then he scootered and he didn't even tell me that he scootered i thought he walked I thought he was losing weight He's just, I've just been scootering every day home <laughs> yeah, from your yeah. house. Yeah, that's the real reason. I got eight miles today, yeah. guys. You're like not eating anything ever. <laughs> Scooter all the way. <laughs> Oh my, <laughs> my homeboy in high school had a scooter, but like a real like a motorcycle scooter, like a Vespa type scooter. And even that was questionable sometimes. Sometimes it like broke down one time on like the main road. And we lived in a small ass town where no one was cool. Yeah. And he was still like, oh fuck. <laughs> you know, like, this is embarrassing. That's the vlog right there. I mean, I'm not fucking doing it, but we we'll find ourselves a pro athlete. Me? Yeah, you want to scoot? You want to jump over some ramps on a scooter today? Well, I've never really skated, but when well, I heard you to. say pro athlete. You snowboard, you can do it all. It's true. I like Republicans. I like Republicans. I like Republicans. I like Republicans. Not I don't even care if people are Republican, not clickbait. honestly. Well, here comes political here. No, I'm not talking about this on the vlog. Now he's going to be talking. Or he's getting political That's answers. why I'm not talking about any of this. I'm not saying. <laughs> You're going to use some stupid <laughs> fucking clip. 
That's the fucking problem, dude. It's not that you're just gonna use some of it. You're all of a sudden just gonna be like, I like Republicans, and it's just gonna like cut something else. I don't understand. Are you coming at Jeff Staple? What the fuck? What does this mean? What does this uh, mean? I have nothing but respect for fucking Jeff Staple. Like, I grew up, the first person's blog I ever fucking read in streetwear was Jeff Staple. The first store I ever ventured out of my fucking house to go to New York City to go fucking visit was Reed Space, which was owned by Jeff Staple. It's his fucking collective. I love Jeff Staple. What I don't love is the fact, one, Jeff Staple turned his back on Boost real quick. Like, real quick. He wore Boost for a year. It was like, eh. The Ultra Boost. I, like, I outgrew that model Brandy and I was said, like, Brandy, we're talking. We're filming, girl. Shit. I was trying to stop. Quiet on the set, girl. I was like, that. <laughs> um, but that and then the, the, the pigeon, you know, the, <coughs> just the climate of the shoe world. It's no diss to Staple or any or Jeff or anything. It's a diss to <coughs> people acting as if this moment in sneaker culture is what chained to that fucking moment, chained to that idea. I went in there for a $50 blanket. And I just bought Lacoste bedding and a fucking wool blanket. Shout out to the lady. I was going to buy a down comforter and the lady was like, I love this wool one. $200 cheaper. So I got that. But I did totally just hype beast about the Lacoste bedding. Yeah, you did. But dude, it's pretty dope. Yeah, Lacoste bedding. You're getting nice. a new house. You need nice yeah, new bedding. Uh, yeah. well, I got his old fucking yeah, shit right. bedding. I need new treat bedding. yourself a little. Hey. You know, you treat get a new spot, you got to fucking treat yourself. You're saying Montana, Wyoming. I don't yeah. know why I fucking keep saying Montana. Because Montana is actually really dope too if you want to get away from the world. Yeah. I shot my album cover on my iPhone. Now it's in the Guggenheim. I've been shooting album covers on iPhone. Me too. Hey, fucker, Kanye beat you to it, bro. I had an emoji. I, I had an emoji album cover before anybody. Yeah. <laughs> I was dropping emoji album covers way back. Like, oh, yeah. I could just blow this up. I got nothing. I ain't got any time graphic design, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Rose on a white background. We're done. Yeah. R&B album. We're done. That's it. Look at this guy. Whoa. Dude. Dude, how's he not burning the fuck up? It is like 90. He's the devil this himself. He is the devil himself, dude. He is the devil himself, dude. Shorty is cracking. You heard about the Uber driver last night? Shot the guy in Denver? No. I guess they got in an argument and the Uber driver fucking shot and killed the passenger. Oh, these people are taking pictures with their scooters. That yes. they're renting. Holy shit, they just took a family photo in front of it. Look, in Denver, we were just walking. Like, we went from Susan's apartment. We were going to go down and get breakfast, and we just stumbled upon these scooters. I'll tell you what, it was so delightful. I know I haven't seen Tom that happy since our honeymoon. When we went scuba diving, I let him jet ski for an hour. We love it. We love that we sent her there. We love Oh, she loves it. We went by the dispensary. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know we sent her to rehab when she got caught with a joint in high school, but you know, now, now it's just so different. It's medical. It's just different there, you know, it's different. I, I still don't condone it. I still think that anyone that's not in my family should be in jail for it, but <laughs> it's just cute, it's cute. They have these little, little treats, these little cupcakes, they have weed in them. That's how it goes, it's the conversation here, it's what all these fucking moms do. Welcome to the jungle, baby. Yeah, you yeah. here, you here with the cute cupcakes and the motherfucking we treats, we out here with Ubers fucking popping shots. So, watch yourself Yeah. when you come to Denver. Check in. Yeah. Your hotel. This city. This city. We're out of here, your son. We're out of this concrete jungle. We're going out into the mountains. I mean, not really. We're going out into the neighborhoods, the cul-de-sacs. Kids on the tricycles. Motherfucking boys skateboarding on the jump ramps. Yeah. Neighbors grilling out. We're gonna be grilling. Hell fucking yeah, I'm buying a massive grill for out there. You crazy. Oh my god. We're about to be out there fucking boosh every day. My like, yo, what's for lunch? Steaks on the grill, bitch. Fire it up. We ain't playing. Got this brand new stove. We ain't never using it. Give me a grill. Don't you even think about doing what I think you're gonna do when I put this down. It's not yours. This is not like your grass pad, okay? This is, I think, ah, I just stabbed myself. Can you still pin set? Yeah, that was just in the box. Jeez. But I mean, if I want, dog. Bam. My shit's on, I'm like, bam. It's also metal, so if someone gets out of whack. Nice. With the horn. Shit. Yeah, I mean, that's a real deal shoehorn. That's yeah. it. Mm, that smells amazing. I'm gonna go down right now.
Yo, get out of my stuff. Get out of my stuff. Spend all that money on that shit because you ruined the last stuff. Yeah. I'm talking about you. You're not allowed to fuck all that shit up. It was expensive. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Oh, okay. Cool. Hey, I'm right here. You're still doing it. Stop. It's my stuff. It's not for you. Hey. Yo! Right here! It's just tearing you up inside, huh? Alright, let me pull up a chair. We'll smoke this. Listen to some. Yay! All right, we got seven songs. The track list is I Thought About Killing You, Yikes, All Mine, Wouldn't Leave, No Mistakes, Ghost Town, and Violent Crimes. <laughs> as soon as the camera towards, turns to him, he stops. Dude, it's like they know, they uh, know. Fire. Classic. The most beautiful thoughts are always besides the darkest. Put that on my last name. It's a different type of rules that we obey. Don't get your two chip like Frito Lay. Fire. Yeah. She could get. Oh, yeah, first song. I mean, the intro's a little long, but it's definitely That's fucking fine with me, Yeah, it's super good. The it's... production on that first song is fucking bonkers. Menacing, frightening, find help sometimes. Russell Simmons wanna pray for me too. I'ma pray for him cause he got me too Thinking what if that to me too It's funny all these old heads that hate on him for the for the TMZ shit and shit This is the hip hop they're begging for I know These are the beats that the yeah, dudes and that these like, old that like these are like And real. not being able to really respond it's like When someone talks shit about you when someone says something It's like this whole glass houses thing you know everybody's always saying something about someone else And like for Russell Simmons to fucking say that about him To be a hip hop Fucking Historian, pioneer, pioneer and, and yeah, like, like you're a, so involved, and then you're gonna speak yeah. on something without I'm gonna assume talking to me. Smartest way to get back at someone, like dude, just made it a part of history. Like he's like now the now Russell Simmons, me too, is like you fucked yourself. Old. Basically, like if you don't show me the respect of talking to me, like and me alone before you speak publicly, like I'm gonna fucking wax your ass. And it's ill, and no one does it better than him. Yeah, you so my daughter. You want? Let's have a threesome and you in the blunt. I love your titties cause they prove I can focus on yeah, things at so once. My daughter. Song doesn't relate to me. Should relate to you though. You're married, dog. Yeah, I like it. I, mean, I like them all, dude. I mean, they're all bangers for sure. Everything. <laughs> Just sonically. Yeah, yeah. I put my hand on a stove to see if I still bleed. Yeah. And nothing hurts anymore. I feel kind of free. I'm a sign of Nikki. In your sleep, I know you want to cry all night. Plotting, scheming. Finding reason to defend all of your violent nights. We pick the colors. <clears throat> yeah. Let's go. Let's do that album. Yeah, dude. I mean, that's the I, first listen, but that's that's yeah. I mean, <clears throat> it's hard not to be when they're that short. That's what I'm saying. But also, I think if you're not ready, I think that album, the first listen, makes you kind of go question uh question life well you just have to take like a little bit of um 
I mean, at least look inward, right? Like you at least yeah. have to, like, it makes you look like your own, like oh, some yeah. of that shit you might. So if you're not ready to face some of that shit, you might be like, this album is trash. Or if you haven't faced it already or whatever the fuck. Cause I'm not saying yeah. it's like a like, what it leave? And, yeah, you probably yeah. would. You probably look at it like it's a trash album, but uh, yeah, I think it's, it's I mean, production-wise, it's fucking ridiculous. Funny, dude. It's just yay. It's yeah. exactly, I guess that's the name of it. Yeah, for everybody that complains about the other albums and says that we want that classic yay, that sounded pretty classic sample-y. Even the ones like, even Ghost Town, which has the most off-the-wall beat, is still yeah in parts. Almost like an indie rock feel to it. Like It's almost like a garage band fucking Seattle rock vibe with the hip hop flair. It's fucking cool. I feel like it's what Kid Cudi was trying to achieve with some of his earlier albums and just like couldn't do it on his own. But yeah. obviously, uh, yeah. Ye is helping out a little bit. And this next album with him and Kid Cudi is probably gonna be and fucking that bananas. Are they Damn, Elon Super might be Drake's baby mama. Wait, what? <laughs> What? No, I read that wrong. <laughs> you heard it here first. Oh, Marion. Oh, Mar. Go get it. Let me get it. Get it. Oh, he's got a face, got a grip. The shoes still haven't shown up. I don't know what's going on, man. I'm over it. Honestly, I'm gonna stop talking about it until they do show up. Kanye album, one listen in, I think is great. I still need to, I'll, I'll have to live with it a little bit longer. But um, this weekend we have a new drop. Uh, it's Sunday at 10 a.m., but we're dropping the baby clothes, the toddler clothes. Those are all on a pre-order uh, youth clothing. Um, and then there's new colorways of some of the other stuff that we haven't done. And then there's a restock of a bunch of stuff. I can't even remember. We just kind of like went through UN Happy Cry, which is what we dropped, the smiley face. You know, the one that says, oh, it's Teddy on it. That's redropping, restocking. The AI Dice Hand is restocking, but there are new colors. Uh, there's a, the cream and burgundy shirt with the card is restocking. The red, white, and blue Happy Cry is restocking. We're doing You Are Your Enemy repeat t-shirts in black coral and red so the repeat pattern where it says you are your enemy happy cry box logo in orange with a white box onesies and toddlers restock for you are your enemy black reaper and burgundy happy cry box logo and yellow and mint so that's what's restocked and then there's a long tee that's going to stock too but we i don't know what's on the long tee yet that's this Sunday. And so I've been talking a lot about this new thing I'm doing, Rumors and Rules. Today I released the uh, first, uh, well, the main graphic. The graphic that sort of started it all, so, or is gonna start it all. I have to explain, because immediately people think that I, um, I don't know, whatever, people think a lot of things. Basically I need to explain because I want to start off by saying that I love Jeff Staple. I already said it in this vlog, I think, but I love Jeff Staple. One of the first people that I ever saw on the internet back in the day when I was probably like 17, 18, I don't even remember, and just got super into his whole vibe. I used to go to Reed Space all the time. Uh, the Pigeon Dunk wasn't my favorite shoe. It was, it was unattainable when I was buying Nike SB, but I just fucked with it. I fucked with the whole pigeon thing. I liked pigeons anyway, just because of skateboarding, because I used to fuck with a lot of dudes that had pigeons tattooed on them, because in San Francisco, there's pigeons everywhere, and pigeons are just a thing, and pigeon, pigeons are just, you know, pigeons are cool. But anyway, uh, they're very representative of places, especially like in the street. If you look up Scott Bourne, uh, Chris Duncan, artist, uh, you know, any of the old anti-hero stuff, if you're a skateboarder, old skateboarder, Sean Young, there's a lot of pigeon reference. Anyway, my take on this, this art piece, if you will, this creation that I've made, it is no diss to Jeff. Definitely just making fun of or bringing light to that era in sneakers is so um, anchored. Yo, get off my bag, go. Seriously now, get off my bag. Um, you know, I have plenty of commentary coming on plenty of things, but this is just a commentary on how trapping it is to be a sneakerhead. Once you decide that you want to do one thing, people kind of put you in a box and tight cast you. Just this whole sort of like silent contract that comes with just that kind of, I'm just kind of bringing light to the fact that there's a lot of imprisonment in the culture there's a lot of uh, people just keeping other people locked up so it's very symbolic I don't want to spell out everything to you just poking fun at the culture 
poking fun at how much other people impose rules on other people and just the hearsay, the talk. I just want to take a second to say that, no, it's not a diss to Jeff's, I mean, it's not a diss, diss to Jeff Staple. I do absolutely respect them. And uh, it's just, you know, it's art. Appreciate it for what it is. It's art. Have at it. Uh, that won't drop probably until next week though, so. Um, but I'm gonna get out of here, actually, early day. It's super, it's not even two o'clock yet. But I think everybody knows that the next 48 hours for me, I'm just gonna sit here, right here, and draw, probably make some beats here and there, and pack slowly. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna pack as much as I can before Monday. Uh, Monday, pretty much pack all day, and then Tuesday, they're moving this shit, so. Yeah, my weekend is not really that exciting. The rest of my day is really not vlog worthy. I'm probably just gonna go to the gym, eat a salad, and uh, do what I said a second ago. That's it, hope you guys had a good week. I will see ya soon. Love ya dearly. Peace. Some stuff came in, but it's not shoes. But I did get another two packages. One, well, let's just open them. Uh, this is Aesthetics. So he's been putting out the zine. I've talked about him for a long time. My boy, he goes by Media Kraken. But he put out the zine. He put out one he put out one issue that was paperback uh, maybe like a month ago. I don't know, a month or two. And then he has just put out this actual first full colored magazine. I have, I have not opened it yet. This is my first viewing of it. Definitely an improvement from the first one. Just off quality alone. Nice. So it's just a lot of like little lifestyle shots, shoe shots, all Adidas, but super cool. Everybody's taking good photos. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, uh, cool, dope. I can check it out. Um, there's that media cracking. That is who's putting out the, that's who's putting it out. Boom, boom, boom. Um, yeah, thanks man. I appreciate you sending that out. And in this box, we have more A-Life. People thought I lost the original Boost Blade. Bro, first Boost Blade is right here. Don't sleep on me, dog. I find shit. Ooh, almost cut the shirt. Teddy, goddamn, son. She keep doing that. I think I would've learned my lesson by now. Look at that. So close to slicing it. So I got the purple. I'm dying to know if this is the same shirt that I'm wearing or if it's a different material. They like used to make these shirts and they kind of changed it up. I don't know how this one's gonna fit. It feels a little softer. It feels a little heavier too though. Definitely not this shirt. What else we got? Oh, I got the mouse pad. Whoop. Just like accessories, man. Accessories are so fun. Stickers. And then a pair of pants. Pair of joggers. I Lots of A-Life stuff today. Pretty funny considering all the A-Life news yesterday. All right, for real, that's the day. I'm out for real this time. Peace.